Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Today's reading is going to be for those of you in Divine Soulmate Connections, could be Twin Flame Connections as well. Um, it will probably be focused on a very particular group. You will probably know if you feel called um, to watch this video, either by the thumbnail or the title, it could be for your situation, all right? If you don't feel like it's for your situation and it doesn't resonate, just, you know, disregard it and it's okay. It's probably just not your situation. All right, um, I am getting very strongly that this has been a very intense week, probably for the major part of the collective. Um, and time is relevant, so what I'm saying could actually apply to you for the next week or maybe, you know, two weeks later, maybe it's happening now. It doesn't really matter, okay? Just take it how it makes sense for you. Um, but there's definitely a lot of shifts that are happening, a lot of upgrades. I've been talking about this actually in my past couple videos and it's hard. It's hard to settle into this new energy also for the Divine Masculine as well as for the Divine Feminine. But each of them kind of deal with it in different ways, all right? Also depending just on what phase everybody is in. Um, I do feel like it tends to be a little bit easier for the feminines. It's still di really difficult. Um, like, you'll still feel the same amount of intensity, so it's still just as difficult for you in that regard. But you have a higher awareness of it, um, which is what makes the difference here. Whereas a lot of the masculines aren't really aware of what is going on, and it can really freak them out and cause them to just pull away and almost like detach even from their own self because they don't understand what it is that's going on um, within them. So it's almost like they try to avoid it, they try to go back to how they were, they don't understand these new feelings, these new thoughts, and so they try to go back. Whereas the feminine, for the most part, will tend to try to understand these new feelings and emotions and kind of work with them. All right, so it can be more difficult for the feminine in that sense that you're actually facing them, so you're dealing with it, um, and that can be difficult, whereas the masculine tries to avoid them, and because they're avoiding them, um, they're kind of escaping the difficulty, but it's still difficult, though, um, having to face them. So it's different for each. Of course, again, it could be slightly different for everybody. Not everybody is the same. All right, so with that said, Let's let's get started and see. I'm going to start by looking at the masculine's energy and then we'll look at the at the feminine's energy and of course what is coming up. All right, so for the masculine. And also as always, thank you guys so much for subscribing, for commenting. You guys know your comments mean everything to me. Your your likes, your support, the personal readings, just everything. All right, so let's see. Having all of that said, see what wants to come through. All right, so we got two. We have evolution, earth changes, climate changes, transformation. I feel like this is the major energy that really wanted to come through here, but we got another one, the second card. I see it more of a supporting card, ocean of love, of eternal love, healing, creativity, and fertility. All right, so <laughs> this first card talks about the huge shift. This is what I'm talking about. All right, when we're talking about earth changes and climate change and transformation, it doesn't really get much bigger than that. That's like a full 100% shift. It, it's huge, is what I'm trying to say. Like everything is just becoming different. Their whole environment is different. Even if the environment is the same, it's the way that they are perceiving it. It's now, it's just different. It can never be the same again because of the transformation that they are undergoing. Some of them, like I said, will we'll have a hard time embracing this. There might be others that embrace this a little bit more readily, um, but for the most part, they're having a hard time embracing these new changes, so you might see a lot of resistance. The purpose of this, or one purpose of this, is to help them to heal and to help them to become more creative. And this fertility talks about 
creating something new, beginning something new. Like now, something new can be born. All right, and this does have to do obviously with um, what it says: eternal love, unconditional love. It's it's a very different um, type of an energy that they're now having to face. Well, if they decide to face it, like I said, some of them are trying to avoid it. Um, they won't be able to avoid it for too long. I mean, eventually it's just going to keep nudging at them because it's there, pretty much. So let's see what else. I'm going to get actually several oracle cards and then we'll pull a few tarot cards. So I know that all of this sounds like a lot of 5D talk. <laughs> so I will, once we get into the tarot, that's probably where more of the 3D translation will come through. Like how does it translate to, you know, the life that you're living now, all right, in the 3D. So here we have rest and rejuvenation, which is kind of like the four of swords in the tarot. So a lot of this, yeah, this has been tiring so and exhausting. So for a lot of them, they could be trying to just rest from all of the shit. It's almost like they're like allowing it to just kind of settle in. And that's what's happening right now. This energy has to settle in before they can actually um, really grasp it or begin dealing with it. So again, it's going to be in different ways for each of them. Like some of them might be just be avoiding it, but it's okay because this is needed, all right? They need to rest from this. It, otherwise, it's just going to be too overwhelming, all right, is the message that we're getting here. So let me just get a few from this deck here. Alright, we have New Direction, Compromise, Commitment, as well as Mask. This is funny because I was just thinking this. Um, actually, I was, I was just thinking this, but it also came in as a download um, the other day. That for a lot of the feminines, if you are in some kind of contact with your masculine, you might even feel like you almost don't recognize who they are. Um, and it's because of the shift. Now, this this new type of persona that you're seeing, it could be more positive, but for a lot of you, it's actually going to be more negative, all right? It could go either way, but you're seeing something. If, if it's negative, all right, it's this mask, and it's because there's like this emotional detachment is the way it's coming through. I don't, I don't see it in the cards here yet, um, but this is just what came through in, in the download that I had. Um, it's like an emotional detachment from themselves because this is so strong and intense. So it's, it is overwhelming that they're almost like emotionally detaching from their own self because dealing with this all at once is just so overwhelming. All right. It's, it's painful too. Um, so you might feel like if you're in contact with with your masculine you might feel like you don't <laughs> you don't know who this person is almost like they just feel different there's something different about them all right and if you're not feeling that yet this could be something that is coming up for you okay so don't don't be surprised if you if you begin to feel that way all right it's okay um so yeah this is the new direction this all of this that's happening is turning them into a new direction all right this is um the new direction is one of compromise and commitment they can't have this commitment with the feminine they can't have this union unless they compromise something but to be honest with you most of this right now although it is related to union and to the divine feminine it's mostly concerning their own self all right this upgrade has to do with them their own awakening their own ascension, their own um, rebirth, okay? Um, ultimately, yes, it is related also to the, to the feminine, but they're understanding that in order to have certain commitments in their lives that bring them happiness, or that will be in alignment with this new direction, compromises do need to be made, and that is what is difficult, all right? Because these are things 
that they may have been holding on to for a very long time, that it has become like a part of their identity and it's very difficult to release. And that's why they emotionally detach, they put on this mask, try to pretend like this is not happening, um, resting from it because they did go through like a very turbulent time so now it's like the rest, letting it settle and then um, eventually they're going to have to um, face this again. So let me put these up here. And let's just pull a few tarot cards. Hopefully we'll see how this might be playing out in the in the 3D. So let's see. I will only be reading uprights for those of you that want to know. Alright, so we have the Lovers, the High Priestess, and the Ten of Wands. Let me bring these closer, actually. Alright, so definitely stepping into an energy of love here, alright? They are, whatever this is that is happening, even though they are emotionally detaching, which I do also get that from the High Priestess, alright? As well as the Ten of Wands, alright? And this whole um, combination here. This is ultimately also having to do with, and it's connected to the connection with the Divine Feminine, all right? This is like, it's kind of like the way I'm seeing it, it's like in the peripheral um, area. It's like at the center is themselves, their ascension, and what needs to happen for their own self and for their own growth. Um, and that, that just that development of stepping and shifting into this new energy and then surrounding that is the Divine Feminine's energy, all right? Um, I don't know why it's just coming to me in like so 5D type of an energy, but that's just what it is, all right? So because of that, here's how it translated, translates into the 3D. You are on their minds. You are on their minds um, throughout all of this, okay? They're thinking about that. They're thinking about that love, which is, was also one of the first cards, all right? What it is, where it is that they feel this love. With the High Priestess, again, it's like this is their intuition really, really speaking to them. But again, they're holding it in. They're not expressing it outwards so much. And again, for some of you, it could be. Like I said, for a lot of you, though, and I feel like this is mostly what I'm tapping into here, they're wearing this mask. They know what their intuition is telling them, but they're not expressing it outwards because they're trying to detach from it. They're trying to release that burden. They're feeling very overwhelmed right now with that Ten of Wands with the connection that they feel with you because all of this is related. Let me get a few more. Nine of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> this is some resistance here. It's interesting because they're, they are moving away from the challenging aspect of this, all right? They're, like I said, they're resting at this point in time, and at the same time, they are moving towards something more calm. They are moving in the right direction here with the Six of Swords. They are moving away from this past that was such a struggle. It's just that now there is this new struggle, but this new struggle is, is so different. It's so different. And that's why in the 3D it might play out 
like resistance or like this um like they're not being themselves they're not being expressive they're if if you were in contact all right if you have not been in contact and then you don't know anything about them that's okay too all right this is just what's going on i feel like basically they're withdrawing from like everything and everyone um really keeping to themselves as to what's really going on inside them they might be putting up an act but deep down they're they're going through a very challenging time and they're trying to bring some resistance to this lover's energy that they're feeling but at the same time it's kind of like they're they're still working through it they're still pushing through and still gradually moving towards where they need to go which is this nine of pentacles being completely free and authentic within their own self. All right, this could also be um, moving towards freedom from other karmic situations or, or addictions or situations that have kept them trapped or that or codependency or just any type of very dependent energy. All right, this is becoming free of that. This is this is what they are moving towards. They're moving from that challenge, which has been a very long road. Um, towards that nine of pentacles so yeah we'll I don't feel like I need to clarify anything I know it's kind of general but I feel like this is just a very strong message and I'm just gonna leave it general because the specifics are going to be different for everybody um, if you want a personal reading for more specific information all that information is in the description box okay um, but I'm not going to get too specific right now. So let's let's see what's going on with the feminines. have sacred heart passion love and spiritual communion okay so I love that both of you have at least one card that is talking about this love and unconditional love um, so yeah I feel like this is something that is coming back if it if you feel like you had been detached um, just from just from feeling the love this is coming back if you weren't detached from it then then you're just really feeling this all right and it could be that you're feeling it not necessarily as just knowing how much you how much love you hold for your masculine or for yourself or for the world or anything it's more of like really understanding what unconditional love is like how it feels all right when the love is also spiritual rather than just in the 3d I'm telling you guys i'm getting a lot of 5d information in this reading See what else. We also have caring connections that um, kind of wanted to come out, so just calling that out, um, which I do feel kind of goes together with our first card there so here we have patience and we have adjacent possibilities all right yeah so this is wow first of all feminines i feel like you have really really begun to understand what patience actually means um and i've talked about this before but it's a concept that is so hard to grasp i feel because patience doesn't mean just you know waiting for something that you can't control anyway and then just waiting for it to happen, that's not patience because there's nothing you can do about it anyway. So the fact that <clears throat> you're just waiting, that doesn't necessarily make you patient, right? Patience is, you no. Know, even if you know that you could have something now, you decide to wait. Do you guys get what I'm saying? I hope you do. Um, that's patience because you know that the time isn't right, because you know that energies won't be aligned because you know that other doors need to open up. This is you being patient, waiting 
for, not, not even waiting, but just being open to whatever the outcome might be. That's patience. Being okay with it. You're patient and you don't mind finding out whenever it is that you're going to find out what these adjacent possibilities are. Yeah, maybe there will be union, maybe there won't be union, maybe this will happen, maybe that will happen, maybe it'll play out in this way. Maybe I'll get over it, maybe I won't get over it. Right, whatever that is, this is all about learning about love. Spiritual love, spiritual conditional love. Not just for your masculine, but also for yourself. Understanding that you can have that love even from your own self. And so this is part of the detachment. It's like detaching, not because I'm using a self-defense mechanism, not because I'm convincing myself that, oh, I don't want this anyway. That's not really detachment. That's, if you don't want it anyway, well then that's not detaching. Like the whole <laughs> um, meaning of the word, like the whole purpose behind it is that you detach even though you still accept how much love you hold for this and how much you would have wanted it to have worked out. If you can hold that feeling and then also detach and have that patience and be calm about it and open to any adjacent possibility, that's when there is true detachment. And that's not easy. You can't just understand that concept and then all of a sudden it happens. It's, you have to be patient. <laughs> you have to be patient with your own self to get there. So that patience card it's not only about being patient with what's going to happen with this situation. And I know a lot of you aren't even expecting union at this point, all right? A lot of you that watch my videos. Um, and if you are, that's okay too. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, the one isn't the better than the other, all right? It's just different. No one is ahead of someone else just based off of, you know, what it is that they would want. Um, but this is about being patient with your own self to allow yourself to heal and to get to that point where you feel like you are okay with any possible outcome and feel like you can find comfort from your own self rather than depending on another relationship to find that comfort or even thinking, you know, thinking about someone and oh how nice it would be for them to hug you how comforting would that be? You get to this point where you feel that hug coming from within, from your own higher self and from the divine. And it's just as fulfilling. And I know for a lot of you that might sound like crazy talk. Um, but but it, does, it, it does exist, all right? And if you guys have felt that, please let me know in the comments. I would, I would love to know. I would absolutely love to know. Let's see, what else we get for the Femmies? Wow, all right, we have Divine Feminine, we have Soulmate, and we have Release. Like, this is so supporting what I just said. Fully embodying that divine feminine energy within you means that you are completely okay releasing this soulmate connection, okay? Twin flame connection, whatever you want to label it. You can release that. And for a lot of you, you are. Like, this is exactly what you're doing. And if you are on that road, it's it feels really good on the one hand and it feels really, really hard on the other. It's a combination of both. Um, I think it was in the last reading where I was saying that, what was I saying? Um, about the feminines really trying to accept how their own new feelings when it comes to the situation with the masculine. And that that's what's hard for them now. It's not so much accepting that union might, 
you know, one of the possibilities is that union might not happen, but what's difficult for the feminine is to actually come to terms with her own feelings about this and allowing those feelings to actually come through because they're so different. They're so different and that is because of the detachment. And if you don't feel that, again, it's okay. Don't think that you are behind or anything like that. This just could be, you know, um, for a particular group in the collective, okay? So let me pull just a few tarot cards. wands the world and the two of swords <laughs> yeah okay so you know certain things I feel from week to week they don't change much all right there's a gradual process so sometimes the messages could be similar especially if spirit feels like these points need to be really driven home or if more people need to see them or if maybe you need to hear certain things again but what I'm seeing here is that you are moving forward, all right? The Divine Feminine is moving forward towards closing out a major cycle. Um, but you have doubts about it, all right? With the Two of Swords, it's like that a little bit of that back and forth because it feels so different. Basically, what I was just saying. It just feels different for you. Um, it's almost maybe, I almost want to say like scary. I feel like you are accepting it more now. Um, if you're feeling this, a lot of it has to do with not knowing where this is heading, where this is leading, like what's coming up for you. I feel like you feel a lot of energy moving forward. To A lot of you could even be, I feel actually that um, one of the first cards that came out for the masculines with the creativity and the fertility, I feel like that actually holds true for you as well. This closing out of cycle, releasing the attachment in the way that you had it in the past, at least, okay? Like, at least some kind of level up when it comes to the releasing, all right? Um, this is helping you to open up to new possibilities in your life when it comes to other things, all right? I'm not necessarily talking about relationships and love. I'm talking about mission work. I'm talking about creative projects, even if it's not mission work. All right, and actually, you know, mission work can be anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be your career. Mission work can just be um, the way you interact with people through some hobbies that you're doing or through some kind, through whatever your job is, no matter what your job is, the way you interact with people. Maybe you raise their vibration. Maybe you, maybe you trigger them in a way that helps them to grow. Whatever it is, I feel like this is becoming more intense for you now. And you're becoming more productive when it comes to that. I'm, I'm seeing here, I'm feeling like you're just being called to, you know, however much you can, release, release your doubts. Don't have hesitations about what it is that you're feeling, what it is that you're seeing, the direction that you are heading in. Don't hesitate closing out cycles. Don't be afraid of that. Don't, don't be in denial of that. Allow yourself to move in that direction, all right? Wherever you're feeling called to, just go with the flow. Because it, it might feel like it's this huge ending, but you don't know. You don't know what this is leading to. It is an ending, but it might not be the ending that you think. Okay? Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that at that. So let's just... Take a quick look as to what is coming up. Masculines, I mean, I feel like this pretty much encompassed it all, to be honest with you guys, but we, let's see, because maybe we'll get something more specific here. Okay, so for the masculines, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, okay, so they're moving slowly here, all right? But they are moving. They're moving in the right direction, okay? So what I feel is happening here is that 
there's a sense of depression that they are coming into. Actually, to be honest, I feel like a lot of them are already in this energy, all right? There's a lot of depression, a lot of regret of the past, a lot of bringing up emotions from the past, thinking about the past, holding on to certain things, trying to figure it out. But the good news is that they are trying to figure it out, all right? They are moving forward using that energy. So yes, they might be feeling depressed, but there's a purpose behind that. They need to revisit emotions from the past. I almost feel like this is them um, revisiting their own self, like trying to let go of who it is that they were. That's what I think that's what came out in the previous reading. And I can't remember if it was last week um, where we also look into the karmic element or the week before. Um, but there's definitely this sense of kind of working through guilt for actions that they've taken in the past, for decisions that they've made in the past, for the way things have turned out, for the way that they have done things. And this does cause them some depression because it it's like they need to realize that, yeah, but things can change. You can correct things. There is such a thing as correcting something, working on it, moving in the right direction, and then having this new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. Like starting your world over, starting your life over from a very new perspective, this time having gotten on the very right path in, in alignment with your, with your own higher self. So this is what they're moving towards. So for those of you that are in contact, you might feel this depression from them. Again, I still feel like this depression might be masked in some way. They might appear to be detached. They might say things that normally they wouldn't say. Their attitude might feel different. You might feel some resistance. It just might feel like just very strange, all right? Because it's going to be different for everybody. So let me just say, it's, it might feel very strange, all right? The energy that you get from them. Now, for those of you that are not in contact with them, you might pick up on this in your dreams because I know a lot of you have dreams. Um, maybe you'll notice something different on social media or just through, if you meditate and you connect with them in, in the 5D, you might feel it there. Whatever the case, whatever it is though, this is what is opening up that door for that new beginning in the 3D. All right, where they're, they will be free of all of this from the past. All right, and you are definitely on their minds. They're just keeping it to themselves because it's very overwhelming for them right now. The fact that you are on their minds as they're going through this, like they don't even understand how this is all related. How does this even relate to my divine feminine? They don't know. Um, some of them might, depending on their level of awareness and consciousness, but I feel for the most part, they're having a hard time on understanding and putting all of it together and that's why they are resting, okay? Um, yeah, so... Femis, all right, let's see. Let's see, let's, see. let's get one more row for the feminines. the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Wow. I'm telling you, the I, I feel like for the most part, you might be doubting yourself. There are things you don't know. There are things that you, you can't see or that you just might be blocking yourself from because it just feels, like I said, different or um, maybe possibly even overwhelming for you. Like you might just feel like this newness is just moving very, very quickly from within you. And it is. It is. <laughs> These old cycles are closing out really, really quickly. You know, don't resist is what I'm hearing. Do not resist as much as you can. You know, just allow yourself to go with the flow. Just be open to where the universe is taking you and trust. Okay, this is you coming up here in the near future. Again, number one, be patient. Seven of pent Pentacles. You've put in a lot of work. You might be resting a little bit as well. After all of this, I feel like there might, there is going to be a, at least a short period of rest from what you have been going through. And this is how you're going to be feeling. Like this Queen of Wands and this Queen of Cups, you're going to be standing in your power, like so strong. You're going to feel like 
you are you, basically. You are you and you are strong and you are desirable and you love yourself and this is you becoming even more in tune with your intuition. Feeling that love from within, from your own self. Feeling that love for yourself. Almost like as if you can sense yourself from outside of yourself, if that makes any sense. And then you feel that love coming from yourself to yourself as if you were someone else. Because it's like, you don't need another person in order to have that. And that's part of finding that union within yourself, all right? That's part of that process when we say um, coming into union with yourself. That's what I'm getting here. All this work and you just going with the flow, that's what it's taking you towards. So it might feel like you're going crazy um, at some points because it does feel new for a lot of you. For, for others of you, it might not, you know, it really just depends. But yeah, that's what I'm getting. So let's get a final oracle message to close out the reading. Please give me a like if this made sense for you, if it resonated. Yeah, and if you guys have any questions, feel free to send them to me. You can even email me if you don't feel comfortable leaving a comment. Maybe I will do a video just answering um, some questions that I feel guided to answer. So, yeah. So let's see. Final messages. All right, we have truth be told. Wow, look at that mask coming off. This is literally one of my favorite cards in this deck. And I really feel like this um, message here, usually the final message is oftentimes about the feminine. In this particular case, I totally feel like it's for the masculine. All right, this is them opening up that window to the truth. They might be wearing that mask trying to hide their true self right now from their own self even because it's just so difficult to process. They're having like an identity crisis, but that window is going to be open. That mask is going to come off, all right? Truth be told, pretty much. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Much love.